The moment we've all been waiting for, the new Princess app, has been released. And now, when you launch the old one, it gives you this screen and tells you the new app is available and you can just go and download it. You can also continue using that app if you like, but this video is all about the new app, so let's go ahead and download that new app. If you want to search for it in the App Store, it is Princess Cruises that you search for. This is the iPhone. I'm not sure if it was also released for other kinds of phones at the same time or not. Once it finishes downloading, you can open it and take a look at the new app and all the fun things you can do in it. Here they're calling it the Princess app. And you start by either signing up or logging in. If you've already got an account with princess.com, then you would use that to log in. And you just put in your login ID and your password. If you don't already have an account, you can sign up and create one there. Or if you want to just get quick access to a existing booking, you can use that link below that says sign in with booking number. And that's going to take certain information, your name, booking number, and your date of birth. And then that will get you in as well. I'm not sure if it is because I only have one cruise booked or because of the way this app works but it drops you into a specific cruise that you have booked. So this is the welcome page of the app and across the top you can see you have several categories of things you can do, booking dining, excursion, spa, that sort of thing. And then in, if you scroll down the page, you see a little duplication. You can do dining here as well, but then you can also take a look at packages and you can take a look at the Wi-Fi info. And then across that bottom is yet another navigation where you can take a look at the service. This is for on board. And then there is exploring the ship map, taking a look at the schedule, and some of the other options you have here. One interesting thing here is if you look at the day one, day three, why did they skip a day? Oh, because it's a sea day. So they only show the port days in your schedule. Now, I don't know if that's going to change, but it's kind of strange. When you actually tap on one of the bookshore excursions, it is basically taking you to the princess.com website for excursions for your cruise and acting just sort of as an interface to that. And so everything you would normally see on princess.com for your excursions is the same thing you're going to see in the app, only sized for a phone screen or whatever you're watching this on. What is kind of nice is that you can actually explore the ship map even when you're not on the ship. And, you know, you can change the deck you're looking at on the menu and see what the ship looks like for that particular deck and where all the little things are like the food and the bars and the restrooms and that sort of thing. You can ask it about your muster station, but since you're not on board right now, it's not going to be able to build a route to it. Now, I was curious about these categories that you can see down below, and if you expand the menu, you have lots of things to look at here. You know, the activities, the shopping, the pools, and when you tap on one of these, it will take you to more details. So, in the bars section, it shows you all the bars and where they're located, which deck and that sort of thing, which is quite handy. Going back to the ship schedule, I noticed that some of these actually have a download symbol here, like next to Welcome to Copenhagen, Denmark, you see, there's that little download symbol. And so I was curious what it would download. So tapping on it, we see it doesn't actually download anything right now. So it may be something that's coming in the future. Maybe it'll be port guides or something, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Next on the bottom navigation menu, we have chat. And when you click on that, it gets you to crew call chat. Now, this may be because we are off the ship, but there used to be shipmates chat as well, and I do not see that anywhere in the menus. If you do get on a ship and see whether that is enabled, I'd appreciate a comment. Now, let's take a look at the profile area. And as I said, I only have one Princess Cruise booked right now, and I'm curious for those who use this afterwards, if you put a comment, do you see more than one cruise to choose from in this view. Scrolling down the page here, you can see you know, the various things you can update or view. Uh, you can even change your password, that sort of thing. And then uh, that's about it for the profile area. As I mentioned, this is basically acting as an interface to the Princess 
Com website for some of the functions of this app, including reserving spa services. If you've been on Princess.com in this area, this should look very familiar to you. And it works as you would expect it to work. Well, that ends my quick overview of the new Princess app. Tell me in the comments if you have used it and especially if you've used it on a ship and how it differs. I'd be very interested to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Solo Sue signing off.